Section 2, The Providence of Resurrection. How does God carry out His work of resurrection? The providence of resurrection is the providence of restoration, and thus providence of recreation. Thus the providence of resurrection is carried out in accordance with the principle of creation. First, the merit of the age has increased in proportion to the foundation of heart laid by the prophets, sages, and righteous people who came before us, and the subsequent generations benefit from the merit of the age. Second, God's responsibility is to give us His Word and guidance, and our responsibility is to believe and practice it. Third, the resurrection of a spirit can be achieved only through earthly life in the physical self. And fourth, the providence of resurrection is to be completed through three ordered stages. The providence of resurrection for people on earth. The 2,000 years from Adam to Abraham may be called the age of the providence to lay the foundation for resurrection. The 2,000 years from Abraham to Jesus may be called the age of the providence of formation stage resurrection, age of justification by works. Upon their death, the believers of this era entered and abided in the form spirit level of the spirit world. The 2,000 years from Jesus to the returning Christ may be called the age of the providence of growth stage resurrection, age of justification by faith. And upon their death, the believers of this era enter and abide in paradise, the life spirit level of the spirit world. The era when people are to complete the providence of resurrection through the returning Christ is called the age of the providence of completion stage resurrection, age of justification by attendance. Upon their death, the believers of this era will enter and abide in the kingdom of heaven, in heaven, which is the divine spirit level of the spirit world. The providence of resurrection for spirits, purpose and way of returning resurrection. The spirits of people who died before they could reach perfection during their earthly life can be resurrected only by returning to earth and completing their unaccomplished responsibility through cooperation with earthly people. We call this process returning resurrection. The returning resurrection of the spirits of Israelites and Christians. After the advent of Jesus, the form spirits of the Old Testament age all returned to the earth and assisted faithful people on earth to attain the level of life spirit. By this, they too received the same benefit entering paradise together. After the second advent, the life spirits of the New Testament age will all return to the earth to help faithful people on earth to attain the level of divine spirits. By this, they too will receive the, be the same benefit and enter the heavenly kingdom together. We call this completion stage returning resurrection. The returning resurrection of spirits who abide outside paradise. A spirit who believes in a religion other than Christianity during his lifetime seeks a counterpart among the earthly people of the same religion as he believed during his earthly life. He descends to the person of his choice and guides him. When he helps that person fulfill the purpose of the providence of restoration, they both receive the same benefit. Good spirits who lived a conscientious life descend to good people on earth and cooperate with them. In the process, the spirits receive the same benefits as the people they have helped. In order for evil spirits to receive the benefit of returning resurrection, their works must have the effect of punishing earthly people to help them make conditions to indemnify their failures, which have frustrated God's past efforts to cleanse them of their sins.